Lizzie Goodburn trained as a lawyer before coming to INSEAD in 2009. She then worked on the Singapore Youth Olympics before returning to London, where she now works as Chief of Staff for the CEO of the Guardian Newspaper Group. Welcome to Alumni Experience, Lizzie. You were working as a lawyer. Why did you decide to retrain and come and do an MBA at INSEAD? Um, I was a securities lawyer, so we worked uh, on raising finance for businesses. My interest lay in what, we were, what businesses were going to do with that money once it was raised, and that was the exact point that legal teams stepped out of the picture. Um, and, that, and once I realised that, I thought that the best way forward would be to move into a more business-focused role. So from the Singapore Youth Olympics, you came back to the UK to work on the London 2012 Olympics. What exactly did you do there? So with any Olympic Games, you have an organising committee that's established purely to uh, manage the setting at the building of the venues and then the execution of the Games, and then is wound up several months after the Games are completed. And it was for the chief executive of that organisation that I got the that I worked as chief of staff. What does what does being chief of staff actually mean? What do you actually do for the chief executive? Well, my role was to make him all his interactions as efficient and successful as they could be. There wasn't really a typical day. I could be preparing meeting briefs for him. I could be attending meetings in his place if he was busy. I could be working closely with his PA to make sure his time was managed in the best possible way. There were I worked on more long-term strategic type projects uh, where I could, which was an interesting other dimension to the role. Um, but it, it really was very varied. Uh, if you don't mind me asking, what does that actually mean? Are you are you basically his enforcer? Yeah, that's a fair question, and I think that that itself is one of the real challenges of the role is to make sure that your approach with each particular direct report is one not of enforcement but of um, enablement. Uh, different people approach the role in different ways. Some people are used to working in an office where there may be an executive assistant or chief of staff, some people aren't. But it's a, it's a skill to it's a skill to show people that you're there to help them rather than to hinder them. OK, moving to your current job, you are now Chief of Staff again, this time for the Guardian newspaper, Chief Executive. Is that a fun role? It, it's absolutely a fun role. And I'm very lucky and I get to spend, I get to be part of the workings of an organisation which does such interesting and brave and talented journalism. Uh, I'm lucky because... The Guardian is part of a, a group of companies that we have other investments, um, which the CEO sits across. So it's not it's not entirely all about the newspaper and the websites and the Guardian and Observer brands. We have investments in other companies, uh, so there's pl there's plenty to to be across and to keep an eye on. I, I, I'd add that one an exciting thing about the Guardian generally at the moment is we are expanding globally. We have an operation in New York and also in Australia now. Uh, so the business is moving from a really very UK-centric legacy newspaper business into much more of a global brand, and that is very exciting. As Chief of Staff, you have, you have this insight, you have this access to the upper echelons of the company. Is it a kind of springboard role? Yeah, absolutely. You, you, as I said, you... You work with senior people, you have access to senior governance forums, uh, you see all the, you know, everything that, that can go on that comes through a CEO's office, uh, you get to see. Uh, and that's, that's, that's excellent. Um, it also, what I, what I found is that you can see where in the business extra leadership is required or where projects may not be going smoothly. So if you are planning to move on from the role, then it's, also, it's a great place to be in to see where you might want to go to and where the business needs you and where you can make a difference. I would add that I don't believe that it's a career role. It's a learning experience, it's a great springboard, but after uh, two, two or so years, you, you, know, you become very attuned to the rhythms of the CEO's working life and uh, it may be time if you want to challenge yourself to move on to something else. And finally, Lizzie, what would you say to someone who is considering who has the chance 
of taking on one of these chief of staff roles? I, I think for anyone taking the role, you should be clear at the outset what your job description would be, where you have a voice, where you're, where you, you where you don't have a voice, um, and the term terms on which you're going to operate. Because once you have those things clear, then you can really dive into the role and use it, uh, yeah, and and be as effective as you can possibly be in it. But there can be a level of ambiguity, being a relatively junior person amongst a peer group of very senior people. And so I would say it's a brilliant role. I think if everyone has the opportunity to do it, they should grab it at some stage in their careers, but be very clear about the parameters in which you've got to operate.